Number 48. What is the density of laughing gas, which is dinitrogen monoxide, which is NO2, at a temperature of 325 Kelvin and a pressure of 113 kilopascals? Okie dokie. So more gas equations, right? With these, the best thing is to just list everything out that you got, and then from there, pick a formula. So in this case, they want us to find the density, right? So they give us, I'll just say, maybe I'll just say D equals the density equals, oh, actually, actually we're solving for it, right? It says, what is the density? So density equals question mark. And now they tell us the compound. Okay, cool. N2O. They gave us a temperature. So I have a temperature T equals 325. And that's Kelvin. And then they give us the pressure of 113.0 kilopascals. Okay, so um, we're solving for the density, right? And we have only one temperature and one pressure. So we're not going to use the combined gas law because we don't have any sets here. And the key thing here, guys, if they're asking for a density, you're going straight for a derivation of the ideal gas law, the PV equals NRT. In this case, I like to call it this, PMM equals DRT. So it used to be PV equals NRT. Now it's PMM equals DRT. Keep in mind that since the R value is still here, this is locking all the units in. The R value is 0 0.0821, or if your teacher or professor wants you to know it as, you know, the 0 06 at the end, but more letters, uh, actually <laughs> more letters, less, less numbers the better. So in this case, this is still the same units. ATM times liter over uh, mole times Kelvin. So now in this case, pressure has to be an ATM. Uh-oh, kilopascal. I have to convert this into ATM. So let's just do that pretty quickly. So I have 113.0 kilopascals. We know how to convert, right? Times by ratio. Throw the unit that you don't want on the bottom. So if I don't want kilopascal... I'm going to put that on the bottom, KPA, and I'll put the ATM on the top. And here is the list of the big four pressure units that you probably have to memorize. In this case, we only care about ATM and kilopascals. They're all equal to each other, so just memorize the numbers. For every one ATM, one atmosphere, there is 101.325 kilopascals. Whoa. Half of the K went. There we go. Cancel out kilopascal, and now let's just calculate what the ATM would be. So, calculate out 113 divided by 101.325. I get, I'm not going to cut it off to the correct sig figs because this is not the, the final answer. We only round to the sig figs at the final answer, so maybe I'll just say 1.1152, and that's ATM. Okay, so now we have our pressure, so that's a check. Now, MM stands for molar mass. This is one thing. There's not two variables here. MM just means molar mass, and maybe I'll put that there. And this comes from the, the compound that they're talking about. Now, in this case, we have N2. So I have, actually, I have N2O, right? So how are we going to get a molar mass? Remember, a molar mass, the units for molar mass is gram per mole. And this just comes from the periodic table. So just go on the periodic table and find out what that molar mass is. So I got two nitrogens and one oxygen. So 14.01 times 2 plus 16. So my molar mass is 44.02 grams per mole. And this is my mm value. So we're good to go here. Check. And look, we want to solve for the density. So that's what D is. D is the density. And just know that since uh, we're using this formula, the density is going to be grams per liter. 
The liter is in locked in into the R value, and the gram is in the molar mass. So it has to match. So that's why it's grams per liter. And then the temp, just like before, the temp is always in Kelvin. And thank goodness they gave that to us. So let's just plug everything in and solve for D. So the ATM is 1.1152. The molar mass of N2O, which is laughing gas, is 44.02. And this is going to equal X. I'll just label it as X. You can label it as D. doesn't matter. Then we have our R value, 0 0.0821. And then I'm going to times it by the Kelvin value, 325. Now you can, you know, get this to be one number, get this to be one number, and then simplify. Just for the simplicity of the video, I'm just going to divide by both numbers. And the reason why I like to do this is I like to plug it all in into one shot so that I don't have any unnecessary rounding. Like, you know, in the middle of the, the equation. So I'm just going to divide each one by the R value. And then I'm going to divide by 325. And that will cancel out the R value. Goodbye. Cancel out the temperature on the side. So we basically just have X equals. And now let's just plug those numbers in. 1.1152 times 44.02 divided by 0 0.0821. And then divided by 325. Now I'm going to do the correct sig figs. Looks like I had three sig figs, the lowest in the question. So I should have three sig figs at the end. 1.84. And remember, the units for density, if we're using this formula, is grams per liter. So gram per liter. And you are done. So that's the density of the laughing gas. Pretty simple. New formula. And always just trust the formula. Remember, sometimes they might give you extra stuff. But if it's not in the formula, it doesn't get added. All right? So hopefully this helps. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, if you want to help us out, please press the subscribe button. We're almost at 15,000 subs, and it's crazy. So thank you so much. It's all because of you guys. Let's keep learning, and I'll see you in later lessons. Bye-bye.